Yeah, it's raining, but it's out right now. Yeah. I'm gonna let the beach. Fresh fish, fresh fish. So I'm in Portsmouth, um, that's Portsmouth, New Hampshire, just up from Boston, just flown from London and feel good. It was a long flight, mainly because um, we were about to take off and then everything stopped and the captain announced that we had to go back to the stand because someone was on the flight who shouldn't be. Apparently um, there was passenger who was meant to be going to Houston on a flight, which meant we had to go back to the stand, um, find an empty, you know, gate and offload the passenger and then go through all the security checks, etc, etc. Um, there's a two and a half hour delay because someone was on the wrong flight. And how does that even happen? How do you get on the wrong plane? So we have a, uh, a day off tomorrow just to acclimatize to the time zone, etc. Um, then we've got a couple of days rehearsing. It's it's sort of, I think about 3 a.m. for me, uh, London time. So I am pushing through as late, as late as possible just to, you know, keep the jet lag at bay. I find this really works for me. I stay up as long as I can. I don't sleep on the airplane. Um, stay up until the normal going to bed time. And, and I don't get jet lag. It happened a few weeks ago, I was in New York. I had no jet lag, it was amazing. Um, with this method. Um, it just means you just just don't sleep on the flight. Um, anyway, let's see how that works out. On the plane, Yesterday, I started writing a track in Ableton Live and I felt quite inspired and spent, you know, a couple of hours of the flight doing it. And uh, I've just been going through it. Does this ever happen to you? It's, uh, <laughs> you write something and you think, this sounds great. And then when you listen to it, it's just, it's just insane. You know, I, I think part of it is you can't really hear properly because um, of the airplane noise, you know. And there's some frequencies you're just not getting. So then when you hear them, when you hear them, even though I'm playing it on a laptop, you know, um, it's just a bit odd. <laughs> I'll show you. It's one cool thing I thought, because um, I was just playing on the airplane. I was just playing uh, using the, you know, the keyboard. The um, so I played in a hat pattern. This green one here, and just let me solo that. I quite like this.
you know, if you um, mix that with the kick drum. Actually, it just sounds mental. <laughs> it just sounds a bit mental. Okay. Um, what else is in here? I'm sure this is quite interesting, I thought. This sound. And, um, so here I'm using a, um, an LFO to control the auto pan, the amount of the auto pan. Very slow LFO with some of the hello. Let's just lose the hello for a sec. And there's a Juno loop here, which also has the whole LFO thing. And you see the LFO is controlling the shape of the auto pan. And then using the Eventide Physium plug, I quite like this as well. Um, let me reduce the mix. No, let me just turn this off. You can hear it. And then a bit of a sheen machine. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're going to hear through. Um, through laptop speakers going into camera, microphone. Although um, the speakers on this laptop, it's the M3 MacBook Pro, are incredible. Um, really good speakers. The main kick sort of groove thing is uh, addic addic addictive drums. Which I haven't used in ages. That's quite an inspiring sound. Yeah, so anyway, you can probably hear it in my voice. I think the jet lag's getting to me. Um, yeah, I look like it too. So, okay, good night.
show last night in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So the East Coast is finished. We're off to the West Coast now. Um, first stop, LA. So I'm going to sign off here. And um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in LA.